Prashant Aswani here with Wildwood Guitars. I'm here at NAMM 2019 with an incredibly special guitar. You guessed it, I'm at EVH with Mr. Matt Brown, head of product development. Hey guys. Tell us about this guitar, Matt. All right, so <clears throat> this is the long-awaited EVH Shark guitar. Uh, a lot of the major fans know the history behind it, but if you don't, uh, this was unveiled on the 1980 Van Halen album, Women and Children First. Um, it was on the front cover, it was in the liner notes, and it was him and the band, they were all hanging out, and this is the guitar that he had in there. Originally, it was a uh, Destroyer, Ibanez made an, an Explorer. Anyways, that's the long history of it. it. It was natural, he started tinkering, doing things with it, he painted it white, okay? And then at one point, he said, I want something more uh, dramatic, and this is like probably 1976, 77. He uh, silver coat painted it, and then uh, took some Schwinn bike paint, painted over it with the tape, drilled out the holes, hacksawed it, hacksawed that off, took the pit guard off, took the output jack plate, threw it here to house it, added three gold, three chrome tuners, and then this is what you have, which was called the shark. Turnbuckles, the mad mind of, of what Ed was doing was, it has no tonal factor, but the cool factor of what is this? Is it a factor for the tone? Is that what Ed's doing to get these types of yeah. tones? That's the secret. He was throwing people off his scent all the time. Um, so big th things about this guitar. The sound that people are chasing on Ed Van Halen is an ash guitar. Anything you didn't hear that was whammy bar tricks and so forth was probably used with this guitar for rhythms. So this is the sound. All ash body, a maple neck, and originally had a rose of fingerboard. We're featuring Pa Farrell on this one. We've Very also nice. done some souped up things. We did, instead of a 12 inch straight radius, we did 12 to 16. We added jumbo frets. We added goto tuners. Ed had a brass nut on his. This is a brass, full solid brass harmonica bridge. And we use a low friction Borns pot with a volume bleed and a, and a high friction for the tone. We've also taken the Wolfgang standard Elnico 2 pickups, converted them, taped off, made them two conductor and did metal braid mesh wire to make it look vintage correct. Wow. All of this is painted. This is not a decal. Check out the back of this thing. Everything is exact to what his guitar was. We reverse engineered it from scratch with the R&D team. Incredible, you guys did amazing This work is the hardest this. guitar that we have, have come to light with and uh, it's for the fans. It's for the fans including people that don't know what it is. This is a cool guitar. This also inspired the Charvel Star. So let's check out this thing on, uh, on, on distortion. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to add, they spared no expense having an artist like Eddie Van Halen be on board and collaboration and this team being able to make a guitar like this blows my mind. Let's see what this thing sounds like. Amazing. And I have to say, it's so light. This has to be, it can't be more than seven pounds. And it's so <laughs> well balanced. Yeah. Just for you guys, you gotta know, this thing is easy to play and super light. Matt, I can't tell you. I mean, like, the whole line is incredible. Yeah. And I mean, we're finishing it off with just a, a masterpiece here. I'm happy, I'm proud to be working with a brand like this and, and an artist like Eddie Van Halen, obviously. Um, but, you know, we all, work our, our asses off and pour our hearts out for the brand, the team, Fender in general. And uh, it, it all shows with the team, including Ed Van Halen and, and his right-hand guys. So uh, we're happy that we're able to get this thing to market. And this thing should be coming out probably around April, May, uh, maybe sooner. But um, we're, we're working on these now, building them out, and we're ready to go. This is first production. So uh, this is what you're going to see exact. Well, it's incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, look for this coming out. Very cool. April, May. Wildwood. See you guys.